welterweight wedding. And a dog hits the showers. So drop on by and dive on in. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. Ready for some good times? Well, you've got good timing. Okay, chicks dig me. Pretty cool, hanging low. Coolest in the whole Z double O. I am a slick monkey. <laughs> Okay, nothing to see here. I meant to do that. What are you looking at? Why is this dog running happily in circles chasing this ceiling fan? Well, some experts say it's because the twirling fan triggers a motion response in the dog's cerebral... Oh, come on, the dog's just a goofball. dogs are desperately competing in a game where the loser is eliminated and forced to go back inside and sit by the fire and sleep. After a big fight like this, a couple can't kiss and make up, right? Well, you are totally right. After this, the newlyweds had their second fight about when to get a divorce. I think we've learned one thing from the World Animal Games. A worm makes a lousy baton. <laughs> this little guy is really having a great time drinking this water. Now that he's finally figured out a way to hook the sprinkler up to the toilet... Remember, kids don't let kids go clunk. Pickpocket trick number six. Distract your opponent fighting over a dirty rag. Why, you're really trying to get his fancy collar. That's right, I got the doggy bling. Bandanas, $8. Sunglasses, $15. Knowing why in the world our owner did this to us? Priceless. <laughs> this dog is having a good time helping this mailman deliver the mail. Oh, no, not, not by taking it. By just not biting the mailman's leg. This is how little Keith exercises. Wow, suddenly that hamster wheel ain't looking so bad, huh, Keith?
Old Sam had a good time, but even he had to admit his first attempt at flight was pretty much a failure. And he also is a smart cat because he can identify different uh, body parts, such as, hey, where's my chin? Oh, see, he was psychic. He even did it for you, but hardly said it. Knuckers, hey, hey, where's my chin? Oh. This cat can identify a couple of body parts. My see, he is the smartest cat in the world. Okay, you laugh now, but he just started as a doctor at a pet clinic. <laughs> Sit up, everybody, because it's time to shake, rattle, and roll. Why can't this bird get off the ground? We're going to go with Crazy Giant Beak. <laughs> Rex is really going ballistic on that little truck. Oh, oh, don't worry about the damage. It's a rental. <laughs> this horse is rolling around on his back because he thinks he's a copper spaniel. You hate it when your dog won't get off the couch. You know why this dog is flying down the driveway to get to the road? Because that's where they keep the fire hydrants. <laughs> Remembering the good old days when he was only embarrassed by that red thing hanging off his neck. In twenty feet, turn right. Sidewalk, turn left. You have arrived at your destination, the curb. Yeah, this works really great on the floor. But the O'Briens didn't have quite as much luck buffing the minivan. If you think this looks rough, <laughs> there used to be a whole clown attached to that nose. Coming up, a ferret hits the road. And a baby goes for a spin. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. And where we stop, nobody knows. <laughs> Shh, don't say anything. He thinks he's taking a spinning class. This is what happens when you twist that little key in his back one too many times.
Here's a parakeet asking for fresh water with a twist. This is what happens when there's a giant water bottle, four hamsters, and one teeny tiny bathroom. Man, it seems like there's got to be an easier way to mix up chocolate milk. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the most embarrassing butt scratching category, we have for you Best in Show. Exquisite. This little device is actually a very powerful vacuum cleaner. If you don't believe me, you just ask that ferret's three brothers. Here we have the very rare white wire-haired baby herding dingo shepherd dog. It's time to play. In order to take the world record for a dog consecutively hitting shuttlecocks into a basketball hoop, this dog had to sink at least one. This doggy is master of the pack. <laughs> oh, she picks it up and throws it. He has conquered this coffee bean. <laughs> hey, don't blame the dog. This is exactly the way John Tesh wrote it. Surprisingly, there is a tiny bumper sticker on the back that says, Honk if you're neutered. <laughs> yeah, we thought so. <laughs> Scientists have determined either you find this next video cute or you're some kind of evil cyborg robot alien guy. <laughs> Now, you may not be too impressed, but this rabbit has just moved the ball way more than some football teams. Gosh, you know, I usually enjoy sequels, but uh, I'm not too sure about this one. The Ferret and the Furious? After a few months, this hamster figured running inside the wheel was just going nowhere. Okay, folks, it's official. There is no dog on Earth faster at catching and dropping balls. Some birds will do just about anything to slide out of taking a shower. 
Fishing, and a hamster pops a squealy when we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Heads up, it's time to catch some really funny clips. This week on Animal Fear Factor, a kitty risks one of its lives. And a chicken risks severe embarrassment. <laughs> oh my God. Who will survive on Animal Fear Factor? <laughs> so you scare a dog with a toy car and he knocks over a lamp. What do you write on your insurance claim? Hit and run? Ah, oh, look at him bite those bubbles. Boy, you'd think all that soap he was eating would help. But he still has horrible doggy breath. <laughs> come on, come on. That's it. We're free. We're free. Freedom at last. So what do you want to do? I don't know. Uh, the food's back inside. <laughs> You want to go back in? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay. The hardest part of this hamster trick... ...sitting still for that teeny born-to-squeak tattoo. When animals attack... ...and vacuums attack back. Take me out to the doghouse, it's Pets and Sports. Tonight on ESPN 23, it's another night of raccoon basketball. Catch the fever. Up in Ottawa, there's a game the locals play where dogs try to steal inflatable rafts. It's a game that's rarely played because well, you see. It looks like Svetlana's going for a trademark belly flop into the ground dismount. She nails it! Rory's dreams of shuffleboard greatness seem within reach. If he can just get himself to the tournament a few miles down the expressway... Ah, here he comes. Ready to go to the bowling alley. Where's that bowling ball? Ah, there it is. I bet Hank's gonna get a perfect three. Hey, hey, look at that, a strike and another strike. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. There are just three pins. Here's an owner who's taking his dog jet ski. If you think that dog doesn't look too thrilled now, you should have seen him last week when they went hang gliding. You know, there's a fine line between wheelie and Weenie. This guy's come up with a great new game for his dog combining fetch and soccer. Called Setch. Or no, no, or is it Fokker? Oh, what's the difference? A dog's just playing till he gets a liver snap. Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? 
Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, P.O. Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Coming up, a dog who makes us bow wow wow. Or a squirrel. Good girl. When you return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. We're going to spread some toys around the house. Okay, on the stairs here we have a bear, and then upstairs we have Pearl a Squirrel. In the dining room we have the snowman. By the front door we have the piggy. In the studio we have the frog. In the bathroom we have the tug. And finally in the bedroom we have the penguin. Pepper, where is your Pearl a Squirrel? Good girl! Good! Pepper, where is your frog? Good girl! Good! Where is your penguin? Good girl! Good! Good! Pepper, where is your piggy? Good girl! Sit, Pepper, sit up! Thank you. See you next time.